to another installment of Skate Parent EDU. This one, we're gonna learn how to change the laces. So the first thing you need are your laces. Make sure that they're the right length. These are not the right ones for this skate. I already did one skate and then realized that I hadn't made a video about doing it. So um, I already took these out of the package. <clears throat> anyway, make sure that the boot size here matches the boot size here. Before you unlace completely, take note of what goes where. So in this case, this last one goes through this and then not the first one, but the second and the third one here is going through these guys down here. So just take note of how your skater likes their skates and put them back the way that, <laughs> put them back the way you found them just with new laces. <laughs> with these laces, there's a crystal in the middle, which is very fancy but it also serves to help you know where the middle is. Um, it is a good idea to get them as close to even as you can, but they don't end up at the end um, with a big difference in the, the, I don't know what you call them, tails after you've done tying. So with ice skates, you're gonna wanna, figure skates, you wanna, instead of, like you would do a tennis shoe, you'd go up and through. Ice skates, you wanna go from the top in. Like that. That will help them when they're tying their skates, I'll help them get them tighter. Um, the laces tighten on themselves that way. And uh, it's the way most manufacturers suggest. So you go in like that. All right, now bear with me. Here we go. You have to stick it in there. Get it started. And we get our tool out and help kind of just squish it in. Now be careful because you don't want your brand new laces. You don't want to uh, do anything to hurt them before they've even been on the ice, right? Heaven forbid. It's like a lot of other stuff. This will come as a shock, I'm sure. They're not the cheapest shoelaces you can buy. What? Something in ice skating is not inexpensive? Oh my goodness. Okay. Get it started and then poke it through. Oh dear. And then do your best to try to keep them from being um, twisted. You know, they're going to get twisted enough as they get tied and retied and whatever. So, may as well start out, especially these down here, where they're pretty much going to be like this. until you change them the next time. So, okay, one. <laughs> Do this guy over the top and in, like that. There we go, get it out of the way. Okay. So you can kind of see what we're going for here. Over and in. 
I'm just gonna do the rest. I'll probably speed this part up. Here we go. This guy, I remember, because we looked before we started, that now this time, this goes through there. So, do that. <laughs> I guess we don't need the sound effects, do we? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and then this guy. Properly laced skate. All right, there's one more step. You are not supposed to leave them t tightened like this. So, we're gonna pull this, pull this out. And that is because it can, over time, deform the boot. We actually, the girls have a hard time loosening up down here enough. Uh, we had to go maybe two weeks ago. We thought, we were afraid, that the younger daughter, I used to call her Tiny Tot, she's not exactly that anymore, but um, that she needed new skates. But it turns out that we just don't, we don't um, loosen these enough. And so over time, it pushes the boot together. So Fred, you'll hear me talk about Fred a lot, He's, he's the skate pro who knows everything. Um, he was able to just, just push the boot out a little and it still fits great. So just remember to try, these make it really hard, but try to loosen up as far down as you can, All right? And then when they put the skate on, it doesn't bend the tongue, You're not supposed to bend the tongue and pull the tongue out. All right, I should probably put this back in. Again, leave it the way you found it. Put that in, that helps to, again, keep the form of the boot. All right, well, thanks a lot. And uh, happy, happy skating. I hope your skaters has a good practice today. Okay, bye.